Today we're covering a topic perhaps a bit boring to some, but it's been highly requested and if you're serious about investing in Italy, it could be step one in unlocking multiple investment opportunities. Yet yeah, we're talking about financing. Okay, some of you might be thinking, I'd love to buy a property in Italy, but I'm not technically rich. How do I go about paying for it? You're probably thinking that because of the luxurious villas that you've often seen on TV and in films. Let's face it, there is a certain level of luxury that we should just leave to the celebrities. Still, there are truly magnificent villas strewn throughout Italy within a more reasonable price range, especially right now. If you want to get your hands on one, you're most likely going to need to use OPM. No, not opium. You should leave that to the celebrities too. Okay, jokes aside, what does OPM stand for? I imagine most of you are familiar with it, but for those who aren't, OPM is an acronym for other people's money. It's a pretty general term and covers a broad range of funding sources. Today we're going to talk about one type of OPM, a mortgage, or mutuo in Italian. Let's look at what Italy has to offer. Even though I'm a big proponent of buying Italian property auctions with cash, I know the power of mortgages when it comes to leveraging. I'm currently in the process of doing some leveraging myself. I've done a bit of research and I wanted to share this video to unlock a few doors on your path to invest in Italy. I'll also point out a few reasons why now is a great time to do just that. It's probably going to take a few different videos to cover everything, but that's really good since it's often easier to learn in bite-sized helpings. All right, I'm going to assume you know some basics about financing options for houses in your own country. I'll be using mortgage examples from the U.S. in future videos since it's the market I know best and can make more accurate comparisons. Step one when searching for a mortgage is to become familiar with the products available. To get us started, I'm going to refer to an online mortgage comparison website that I use when I'm planning a project and is the main topic of this video. Using mutualonline.it, you can get a basic idea of product types being offered. There are other similar sites, but for today, this will give us plenty to discuss. It's in Italian, but don't forget you can always translate the page for better comprehension. First, let's look at the product types listed on this page. Listed are purchase first home, purchase second home, purchase in a judicial auction, purchase first home concept, subrogation, subrogation plus liquidity and a mortgage for renovations. I should point out that last year a liquidity only option was listed as well, but is no longer visible. There are still banks that offer it as well as other types of loans, which just means it's important not to rely entirely on this website alone. Speaking to the bank directly is ideal. Let me take a moment to clear the fog. The first home, second home, judicial auction and concept first home are each options for initial purchase of real estate. These are pretty straightforward aside from concept. Just to be sure we're all on the same page, I'll briefly describe them. The first home mortgage is intended for properties which will be eligible for the Prima Casa tax benefit. For more information on what Prima Casa means, follow the link in the corner or check the link in the description. A second home mortgage covers most other cases except for the purchased on auction and those fitting under the guidelines of concept which is designed to help younger buyers get into their first home with a reduced requirement regarding the initial deposit. Subrogation loans are designed to allow you to change banks without incurring extra fees while surrogate or subrogation plus liquidity is similar while additionally extracting some of the existing equity. Depending upon the loan type, each bank will have different loan to value ratios as well as different mortgage limits, so choosing the right one becomes time intensive. But with a site like this one, you can get a head start. We're going to go ahead and fill this out pretending that I'm purchasing a property on auction. So first we need a property. Now I typically search near my home, but let's browse a bit in the region to the north near Switzerland called Como. It's at the base of the Alps and quite beautiful. Just popping in to see to the site here and searching quickly the word villa, the first property that catches my eye is the city Alta Valle in Telvi. Checking out where it is on the map, we learn it's right on top of the Swiss-Italian border. I'm not going to analyze the property, whereas I just want to talk to you about what I would do to get a mortgage on this property. To fill out the form, we'll need a bit of info that we can find on this page. I start by expressing that I will be purchasing on auction. Second, I personally target fixed mortgages. Next, it's time to determine the property value. I can find this by analyzing the Perizia or inspection report and with a little effort, see it's about 300,000 euros. Next, I need to determine my loan amount. Most banks will offer an 80% loan to value, but in the case of the auctions, it's less a loan to value ratio than it is a loan to winning bid ratio. And those aren't the same thing. 
So assuming I win this property at the lowest offer amount, I would get a mortgage for 80% of 128,250 euros. In other words, I'll ask for a loan of 102,600 euros, which is 80% of that previous number. If I want to leverage more, I would have to set up an additional type of mortgage or consumer loan to cover the rest of the total. Entering a 30 years term and data as it applies to me personally is all that remains. Most of the final questions are for the purpose of pre-qualifying you if you choose to proceed with offers we'll see in a minute. With that done, we can get a good idea of which banks will give me the best rates. This is by no means a complete snapshot of your potential mortgage options, but it is a great basis to get started for those of you who are chomping at the bit. If nothing else, it's a great tool for seeing today's banking rates for your personal ROI spreadsheets. Now I have a list of banks at my fingertips who have offers that fit my criteria. I'm liking the option with BPAIR at 333 euros per month. I definitely like that interest rate. Clicking the button here shows me more details and even allows me to access the amortization schedule. Assuming you find a good solution, you can click the green button and fill out their questionnaire with, pers with your personal data. You'll be contacted by the bank to hammer out the details and if you complete the process, mutualonline.it silently thanks you for your business. If you don't speak Italian, you'll need to organize a third party to ask questions on your behalf. If you don't find what you're looking for, don't be afraid to contact some banks on your own. You might be surprised by their offers. This is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to mortgages and OPM in Italy. Coming up in the future, I'll touch more on expectations for mortgage approval and other financing options available. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more real experience in cheap Italian real estate. My name is Davo and I'll catch you next time.